article about a cow that was published with the best animal organization, PETA, which is People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. It's a cow from Kentucky <laughs> who was left behind and could not move. She was attacked by dogs and left there to suffer until an activist intervened. After failed numerous attempts to contact the police, a butcher came, shot her, and sold her for her flesh. This cow was used for her body, but it does not always end up in death. People typically live with the out-of-sight, out-of-mind philosophy, but that doesn't make it right. A vegetarian lifestyle is a good one for humans and animals, but vegan is better. A vegan is somebody who does not eat or wear any products produced by an animal. It's time we break the mold that people fear about veganism and share the truth. There's a lot of misleading information about dairy farms and clothing industries, as cows, chickens, and other animals suffer over a longer lifespan. So there are many myths out there about dairy um, productions that are alarmingly untruthful. I'm sure you guys have all heard that cows have to be milked, so why not drink it? The fact is that cows are just like women, whereas they only produce milk after giving birth. Rachel Owens, one of PETA's coordinators, said that the cows are hooked up to machines and they are milked 10 times more often at a dairy farm than they would ever produce naturally. Here's another one that I'm sure you guys have all said before. Milk gives me strong bones. Wrong. Milk is the worst source of calcium. Our bodies can't absorb animal milk, so it actually leaches out from our bones. An article published by Good Health Supplements suggest that fruits and vegetables are the best source of calcium, which is the perfect for the vegan diet. The research also went on to say that milk has been linked to diseases such as diabetes, osteoporosis, and chronic fatigue. And in a 12-year study done at Harvard University, 78,000 women who drank milk three times a day broke more bones than the women who rarely drank milk at all. So, more animals out there other than cows are being tortured on dairy farms. So when you guys picture a chicken, you see it running along in an open field with the sun on its feathers. Well, this never happens. Chickens are overstuffed into wire cages where they can't even lift one of their wings. Their feet sometimes get mangled down in the wire cages and they have no choice but to just suffer through it. In a PETA video, it showed the hens getting their beaks cut off by a hot blade with no medicine administered. They also manipulate the hens into another egg laying cycle by starving them and keeping them in the dark for days on end. So yes, hens do get to live longer than those sent off to the slaughterhouse, but they are in unhealthy, unsanitary conditions, and they end up getting sent to the slaughterhouses anyway. So there are also other ways that innocent animals are being tortured other than through the food industry such as the clothing and science industries. So here is a short clip um, filmed by an undercover PETA employee of an, somebody skinning an animal alive. process is, the process before that is, is bad as well. They are captured in these cages where they are left for days on end, bleeding and seriously injured. So the animals that aren't used for fur and clothing are sent off to the science labs where they're experimented on. And more than 100 animals each year are tested on that often end in their death. You know, and people often say, well, we have to test animals because they're so similar to humans. Exactly, they are so similar to us. They can feel pain, loneliness, and fear just as we all feel. 
And an article um, published in the Journal of the American Medical Association, researchers warned that patients and physicians should remain cautious about extrapolating the finding of prominent animal research to the care of human diseases. Basically, that's just saying that it's not so cut and dry. That just because they may find a cure for cancer for a, a mouse, it's never been replicated to a human being. So there are various ways that animals are being tortured other than through the meat industry. To say that it's okay to take products from an animal just because it's not being killed is not right. So those were just a few examples of how the meat, the food, the clothing, and the science industries have been hurting our animals. So the next time you guys hear some myths about um, veganism, I hope you remember the facts and realize that just because the animal isn't dead doesn't mean we're not killing it.